Well, good morning. Here I am in another, yet another hotel, making, uh, making another video. This one is for the 18th of May. And the title is Let's Talk About Jesus, also known as Christ. It was an interesting day yesterday that I got to talk with three people about Jesus. First, the man from Unity who was taking me to meet Judith Durham's sister, Beverly. Then a man I met in the hotel restaurant. And finally, my own niece with whom I had a chat online. For me, the one we in the Western world know as Jesus Christ has played a key role in my life since childhood. I grew up feeling that I knew him personally and that my teenage and in my and from my teenage years I was consciously committed to Christ in me. That's the key. I realized that it was not an external personality named Jesus that was meant to be a key figure in our lives. Rather, it was recognizing that Christ was the God spark, the true essence that in that is the personal light within all of us. To me, that distinction is critical. When we put Christ out there and separate from us, we tend to stop looking within. That's what differentiates between religion and spirituality. Religion divides, divides because it is ego-driven. Spirituality unifies since it recognizes and deals with the divine essence in all of us. I truly wish I could say this in a way that could be understood more easily so as to clear up centuries of confusion. <laughs> I'm not asking for much there, am I? <laughs> Uh, it's been going on and on and on for generation after generation in the last couple millennia anyway. And it continues today, And although many people are waking up. But I did, as I said in the blurb, find it fascinating that uh, the conversation came up three times in one day. Uh, which, as I laid in bed when I woke up, I thought, well, that's... That's what the video has to be about, because I hadn't actually created a title or a video prior to laying down and getting some sleep. Uh, and I'm now, of course, using that title to talk to you about this, because it has been a challenge for me trying to uh, help make it clear for other people. Uh, the man from Unity, first of all, uh, is very Christ-oriented, obviously. Uh, that's not true of everyone in unity, but it's true of him. And we had quite a discussion about it. And uh, we didn't get to meet uh, Beverly uh, because she's still in the hospital. We thought she had been released the day before and it was in an interim uh, recovery uh, unit, but she wasn't there. And so we ended up uh, turning around and it actually worked out for the good because he helped he helped me find another hotel to stay in and uh, and stayed with me until I was able to uh, go to the bank and get and get uh, money out in uh, Australian currency etc so that I didn't have to have things tied up with a credit card uh, or debit card as the case may be but um, then when I I finally got into the hotel. Before I could even get in my room, I had to wait to get into my room uh, because you can't check in till two o'clock. And I was, it was like 10.30 in the morning when we finally got everything squared away. Uh, and we, uh, I had to sit and wait. But I, uh, when I went in during that uh, three and a half hours before I could get into the room, uh, I went out, of course, to the restaurant, and uh, this man just started, as he walked by me, he looked at me and stopped and started talking with me. Uh, and then he came actually and sat at my table, and I said, shouldn't we sit at a table with more seats so that your wife can sit? He said, no, that's okay. She doesn't, she doesn't necessarily need to be involved in the conversation. So she was sitting at the table behind him. They were back to back to each other, but he ended up sitting there talking with me for for quite a little while, actually, uh, while he finished eating, and then he he left, and I was I, I finished the last 
portion of my food. But uh, he left me his card uh, right here, which uh, it, said, it says, Soon the Second Coming of Jesus Christ. And um, it's the personal fullness of, of lifeinchrist.com is, is his website. Uh, and I watched a couple of his, or actually not watched, listened to a couple of the audios on there about the second coming. And it's the same thing that I was taught from, from childhood. Uh, I see it slightly different, but not completely different. I do believe that there is going to be uh, a return of the divine that plays a much greater role in our lives than what we have known during this time of deception, which was which was predicted actually and prophesied by Jesus uh, in according to the what we call the Bible. Uh, he said that many would come in his name saying that he is the Christ, but they would deceive many. And the deception again is where do we look for Christ? Do we look out there? somewhere in another personality that plays a key role, but yet at the same time is not as intimate as being within us. And to me, oh, that within us is a given. It's not something that we have to do anything about. It helps to recognize it, but it's the very nature of creation itself. Creation is embedded with the divine. The divine is in everything, and especially in the creation we know as humanity, which to me is just simply God in flesh form uh, being manifest in, in the entire world. That's, that's the basis of Christianity, uh, but it's something that people have not been able to see and something that I have uh, struggled trying to make clear my entire life since since I preached my first sermon when I was 14 years old. Uh, and then, of course, my, my last uh, uh, conversation was online with my, with my niece, my uh, brother's daughter, who he, he became a Christian on my dad's deathbed. I've mentioned him in other videos. And then became a missionary to, uh, to Latin America and, and was ended up uh, becoming martyred. Uh, and, you know, on, on, the last time I saw him, we had a beautiful conversation. And it was, uh, I think he, from my perspective anyway, in that conversation, he recognized what I was saying, that, that, that it's not the external Christ. That's the important thing. We can recognize that Jesus was the Christ. And we can recognize that he had a, a great mission uh, when he was here on this planet. But the more important thing is to recognize that he, he told us where to look for Christ, not in a 2,000 year old historical figure, but present now and always within us. And that doesn't have anything to do with what religion you are, because the Christ or the divine essence is in everyone, everything. It's for us to wake up and recognize it. And when we do that, there is a transformation that takes place within, which I'm hoping will ultimately take place without. And that's what the, the video, or the audios rather, were about, that, uh, that this uh, gentleman, uh, uh, whose card that I presented this one, uh, that's what he was, he was emphasizing, that, uh, that the second coming is at hand. And I, and I hope, that's true, but I hope it is broader in scope than what we've been taught to believe it is. It's not about one person coming back and setting everything aright. It's about all of us so suddenly awakening and realizing that we are one with each other and that the whole message of Jesus and every other man and woman of God throughout the ages is to simply love one another. So that's all I'm going to say today, and thank you for listening. Namaste.